Hi, this is Paul Sollentrop and Bob Lutz of the Wichita Eagle. We're here at Coke Arena after Wichita State goes 31-0 with an easy victory over Missouri State. And we'll start with the history of it, which was the overwhelming uh, aspect of today. Bob, you've been to a lot of Wichita State highlights, landmarks. Uh, how do you kind of sum up this? Well, it, it's almost hard to do. I mean, whoever thinks of 31-0 for any season, any team, any level of competition, it's just uh, really hard to, with what we had an hour since the game ended, it's really hard to put it into context. Have you ever seen it being any kind of burden on this team at all? I keep waiting for to, to write that column. That they're, they're feeling the pressure. They look like they're tense. You know, I'm not sure the Valley is, is capable, the teams in the Valley are capable of bringing that out in the Shockers. But uh, no, there's been no sign that this team's overwhelmed by the moment or the record or anything. Yeah, I think even going back to last March, I think that's one thing they've really done a nice job of is having fun with it, embracing it, and not letting any of that any of that get to you or get to get to them. Uh, four seniors last game tonight for Clay Anthony Early, uh, Shadrach LaFeel, Kadeem Colby, and Nick Wiggins. What will the senior class be remembered for? Well, this and going to a Final Four and and doing this and uh, I mean. You think back to the Final Four that Wichita State went to in 1965, and for people like me, how legendary those players still are uh, nearly 50 years later. That's going to be the same with these guys, with the young fan base that they're creating. Imagine how many fans in Wichita there are now of the Shockers who a year and a half ago probably weren't. Yeah, or, or were on the fence, yeah, or, or, or were kind they of passionate it, they about it. They the yeah. Shockers. But they weren't buying their gear. Right. They weren't uh, this craze. Now they're really invested in that. I think Clay Anthony Early obviously deserves a, a special place, uh, scoring a thousand plus points in two years, and he's been on a lot of nights. I think the difference between WSU being a really, really good team and an elite team with his athletic ability and his and his ability to score. No question about it. He's a guy like we heard one of the coaches say the other day, Coach Hire. He said. Uh, Clay Anthony is the guy that every team has to prepare for. Fred Van Vliet's probably probably the MVP of the team because of the position he plays. But when opposing coaches are looking at the Shockers, they're trying to figure out some way to contain Clay Anthony early. All right, most of the town now will be, or not most of the town, but people head, getting ready to head to St. Louis. When do you go over to St. Louis? Bob? Well, we're going. Apparently, we're representing Indiana State over there, so it's <laughs> nice. It's nice that we could be supportive of the Sycamore. Slumping Indiana State. They need some representation. They lost again today to Northern Iowa. Yeah. So, who is the challenger to Wichita State and St. Louis? How in the world is anyone going to keep them from finally, finally cutting down the nets in St. Louis? It's almost unfathomable, and unfathomable to imagine that anyone could. Yeah, I think we're looking at a strong possibility. Their next tough game will be that second day of the second weekend of the NCAA tournament. And that's a while now. So. Yeah, yeah, they've got, uh, yeah, yeah, but that, that, will be, that will be a lot of fun. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Paul Sollentrop and Bob Lutz of the Wichita Eagle. Wichita State defeats Missouri State 68-45. Wichita State's 31-0. They play Friday at noon in the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament. Thanks.